everyone. It's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have another Goodwill Blue Box. This is a five pound repurposed box. This one is from Tennessee. All right, here's our first impression. Let's get started. Well, let's start with the single earrings. There, I'm telling you, some that are beyond outstanding. This bicolor glass, I mean, that is amazing. Uh, this is a big Rivoli. We have the spider web. I think this one might be pewter. Um, this is very, you know, Art Deco. It's very gorgeous. This one here with all of the big rhinestones. Are those beautiful? This is a carved piece. Looks like we have a composite turquoise. This one is just full on fabulous. So let me take a little quick fly around and you can see them all. They're gorgeous. It's like a cinnabar. And then we have that. This is like a faux cloisonne. Here's one that looks like cinnabar. This is a really heavy piece. I think this would make a beautiful pendant. Uh, just some gorgeous stuff. All right. Well, this is the single earring lot. We ended up with three pendants and two charms. Beautiful glass. I love the just the dimension that they've got in here. I like that. I mean, I know these are common, but they're still really pretty. This is really, really heavy. Reminds me of a Premier Design piece. Look at the back. I mean, look how thick that is. This thing is huge. And this is some form of like composite. You can see it's got like a shimmer in the white part of it. It's really neat. A little enameled ice cream cone and I don't know if this is actual abalone or you know um, an imitation but it's really pretty and actually has quite a nice little weight to it as well oh and we have some beautiful smalls this gorgeous little angel has an articulated rhinestone in the middle this lovely nice concave design it's got a lot of really beautiful red rhinestones some clear rhinestones. This one uh, has a mark on the chain here of 18 karat uh, gold over. This past, present, and future design, uh, I had never seen this by Monet. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And this really nice little, very nice condition locket is by Premier Design. These two pieces are both really fun. This one has, it looks like dyed halite with a brass tone T. It has both the stones and a chain. It has a little bit of wear on the clasp, but other than that, it's still in pretty good shape. This one is marked Premier Design, and man, is it a beauty. Look at this man-made, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's man-made, Mother of Pearl. And then the back is equally as beautiful. It is an enhancer, so you can take this off and put it on whatever you'd like. Nice, long, substantial chain. I mean, it is a very, very cool piece. The three pins in the box. We have a beautiful little gold tone cherub. Doesn't look like it's been worn. And then this, I believe, cherub with the beautiful ribbon. So you have both a satin and a polish finish. And then this J looks like bamboo, and it is marked Sarah Coventry. And lo and behold, we have rings. We don't have them very often. This is a size seven, still has tags. It was $8, it has black enameling. Uh, with the two finger ring 
these two are just two little tiny little pieces uh, one has the look of rhinestones one has rhinestones I think these would be great little midi here we have a little enameled toe ring most likely although you could wear it wherever you needed to this is marked tungsten carbide and I believe we have copper and then we have the black look here uh, and you know you've got the band in the middle it's really pretty we have the fashion ring look at this one I mean to me this kind of definitely screams a night out on the town beautiful piece and then we have a faux I mean I don't even think that's a CZ I mean if it is it's it's not you know like um, Swarovski kind of um, quality but it's still really really pretty and the band is really nice so I think that would be fun to wear and then this one just has this tan color not tan ivory color enameling this next group really nice little fashion pieces this one would feature the little copper seed beads and very nice multi faceted glass beads these are loaded with facets uh, you know I think uh, with the copper look here I'm not sure if the wear is intentional or if it does have a little wear on the the uh, closure but still really nice pieces this one here the chain is really nice quality like you know old style kind of Monet almost type quality and these are very lightweight acrylic gems they're not you know like heavy heavy I would have loved to have seen them in glass but they're still really really pretty this piece here oh my word it has some weight to it look at this chain and then this floats this oval here this is a nice hefty piece I mean it is it's a good size it's not too big it's not too small but man alive I think that would be perfect for layering oh I'm on board for that one all right so is this one okay it has a nice long chain plus an extender really nice little lobster claw and these are double-sided rhinestones so, so no matter how this little pendant which is the two of them hooked together so no matter how this goes you know no matter where it's swinging around this will show gem side up so these are beautiful little rhinestones with you know the faceting so it really lends itself to pop and because this is going to hang this way you know it is going to have such gorgeous play of color I think no matter you know what color um, shirt or jacket you're wearing it's gonna pick up on it nice piece to layer again now this one is by plunder we have a statement piece here it's all here beautiful oranges and that light seafoam mist green color and then we have that kind of that little kicker of almost like an animal print here you know almost like tiger tiger skin kind of neat really digging it and this one is by plunder I think this piece would be really nice for bridal or prom we have the two wings and then the faux pink pearl and then we have little accents of faux pink pearl in the wings it's really you know it's nicely made it's a heavier setting this one isn't showing very well in the light I'll try to move it around a little bit it is by American Eagle and it looks like the stations are abalone but it really is done more with paint or a decal something like that is underneath uh, the resin that they have on top of it and but the stations look mighty pretty and it's American Eagle talk about stepping up their game 
This next piece is by Loft. It is a statement piece with acrylic stations with a faux pearl. And if you turn it over, it has very nice construction. I mean, it is by Loft. And it doesn't look like it's been worn. So I think somebody will really, really enjoy that piece. This next one is really fun. It's a lightweight piece. It looks so much heavier than it is. We have a lot of links here. And, you know, they have kind of a, kind of like a diamond cutting look to them. Um, I think perfect, perfect layering piece. Or to wear this all on its own uh, with a, you know, a really striking set of earrings. And I think that will cover an outfit, <laughs> no problem. There are some pieces of jewelry I just don't understand why they aren't marked. This piece is stunning. Look at these rhinestones. They're all articulated in these pear drops. And then you have the one here. I mean, these are absolutely outstanding. And this chain is nice, it's heavy, as are the loops in the bottom. So I don't know why anybody would not want to claim this piece. They aren't foiled in the back, uh, they are covered. There's a little bit sticking out so you can see that these are foiled rhinestones, but the backs are protected. I mean, they even went to that much trouble to do that for you and to not mark it. My only thing is maybe it came off. Maybe the hang tag came off, but this piece, amazing. This piece is a little Dickens, let me tell you. It was in the middle. It is a triple strand. It has the little rhinestone bar, the little gold tone triangle, and then we have the little circle with the rhinestones and then this piece that continues on the drop with the elongated triangle. Uh, the top is not very big. Let me show it to you. I mean, this is the, the neckline. It does have a generous extender. And then you have the three. Let me see if I can pull it through. The three layers. And then the, the nice long drop that, you know, would show off the cleavage quite nicely. But this was in the middle. This this was quite a tangle of shame all on its own, but it is gorgeous. It was worth it. We have some tassel fun. Look at the glass bead, faux pearl, and then you have the little tiny, almost like a seed pearl, uh, faux pearl again. And then look at these multifaceted, I mean, tons of faceting on these little beads to add sparkle and dimension. I mean, you can see them move and pick up the light. And the tassel is set on a very long Rolo chain. It is gorgeous. So great layering piece. We ended up with three beautiful condition gold tone fashion necklaces. These chains are, I mean, absolutely wonderful to wear on their own. They're great to layer. They're great to layer together. These are great. I mean, I don't think they've ever been worn. They are absolutely beautiful condition. And speaking of layering pieces, look at this rose gold, lightweight, fantastic long necklace. I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck without a lot of weight. You could wear this all day long. You'd never even know you were wearing it. This necklace is certainly a highlight of the box. Look at all of these they are trunks up good luck look at all of the elephant this elephant family you have the two larger ones in the front and then all of these cuties that go completely all the way around fold over safety clasp it's not marked it's got some nice weight to it i can't believe someone wouldn't want to put their name on that we also had several big statement pieces this is a multi-layer piece by Plunder. Look at everything going on here. I mean, you've got the beautiful wooden spheres. You have acrylic drops. These are almost like a mother of pearl look to them. 
and these have like a shimmer on them i mean this is great you have the gold tone i mean this is a piece and a half and it's by plunder this piece is also by plunder i mean these are big beads and it's long look at this this thing has got to be i haven't measured but it's got to be at least 50 inches i mean it you want to talk about large and in charge layering piece right here or beautiful statement piece all on its own these are faceted they pick up light they're hand knotted in between this is one heck of a piece by plunder this one is also large and in charge we have faux gold tone glass pearls we have clear we have an older style insert clasp i mean look at the color these are gorgeous and it is so long again this one's probably 48 inches or more you know because of the clasp you can easily double it maybe triple it depending on uh, your neck size and just look at these this box just keeps on giving with the long beautiful necklaces again this one's you know 48 inches or more and this one has all these beautiful wooden beads uh, you know an antiqued looking chain and even you know even though it's still summer and you know i think this would be perfect for fall i think it would also be absolutely wonderful with this time of year i mean look at the color play here with the little reds i think it's a gorgeous piece this piece has the newer M. Uh, it's been discussed whether that's Monet or not, but people believe that it is. This has the black and gray tone with the silver beads. And these almost have, if you've seen them in the garden department, they are kind of graduated uh, yard pieces of art that spin in the wind. That's what these look like. I mean, they are so neat when they move around. It's not very big, but they did give you the extender. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a choker. It could definitely be a little longer than that. But, you know, really, it's all about these silver beads. I'm going to try to pull this one through. You know, I know this mark. I just don't remember who has this mark. I want to say it's Vera Wang. Um, but look at this nice chain we're starting with and then we're going to end up with all of these other layers of chain and glass beads let's see if i can't get that to all settle down i mean there is a lot going on with the pink beads almost like a salmony mauve color here the glass um metallic beads oh sorry losing my brain today and these coated beads or i think they take like a polymer clay and then they add all of these little tiny ones to it but the chain is outstanding the beads are gorgeous i mean take a look at that okay this is a really really fun piece it's lightweight these although they look like jade they're not they're acrylic or plastic you have faux uh, lightweight pearls again here with the lightweight pearls uh, it is a double row and then we have this really nice upgraded looking insert clasp i'm not sure if somebody made this or if it's commercial made but it really has a great look to it i mean you have all of this and then here's your focal point right here i mean that is that's pretty cool looking ended up with some cool bracelets we have like this rose gold almost copper tone uh, lighter weight but with a nice rivoli rhinestone here lots of pop and color this bracelet is interesting we have this cute little bee charm and then we have this kind of gold tone, almost copper tone, looking older coin replica. So that's kind of interesting to have those two together. This one is the faux pearl with the little rhinestone stations here. 
and this would this looks to me uh, like it could be unisex both man or or woman and the black rhodium look had this bracelet with the infinity symbol it says love and it says daughter it has an extender so you could certainly extend that out this is you know some like cotton cord that's kind of pretty we had this gold tone bangle with some rhinestones rhinestones were all there I mean that's nice this one is very unique we have this flower this metal C here uh, to make it one part of the wrist and then the other part of the wrist will be uh, like wax cord so it's kind of neat you know it's got a little bit of something going on there and this is definitely an older style it's on wire these are old enameled charms uh, with Christmas we've got the moon the tree the present the angel you know and they slide they give you enough room so you can slide these so this is a nice old find here one pound 11 and an eighth of an ounce not too bad at all for craft got some great stuff in here i tell you what now tennessee did give us a little bit of sterling one little 14k uh, this necklace i know this charm it's killing me uh i'm the manufacturer has got like this little d almost looks like a, a dove flying the chain pretty small little dainty is mark sterling and then we have this great little pendant and i believe that's a stabilized piece of turquoise right there and then this one is also marked 925 the chain's a little sturdier a little longer i'm not sure if the pendant which is the flag the gun and the sword it's not marked so we'll have to test that out and all these little doodads over here are all marked sterling they included a broken chain which i thought was kind of cute still with the tag and then this pearl is marked 14k on the post and on the earring back so hey we'll take you know a little bit for our scrap pile any any time all right gang that was the box let me know down below how you know do you have a favorite piece if there's anything you like in here it's all for sale so let me know thank you so much for watching today we appreciate you spending time with us until next time everyone be safe be well take care we'll see you soon